Have you ever seen a camper van with a four-poster bed? Well, you're about to. Hello, my name is Ryan and I'm from Vandy Campus and I'm here once again to give you a van tour. Before we go ahead, guys, please like, subscribe and comment. We'll be picking three winners from the comments to win £50 website credit on vandycampus.co.uk. So let us know, give us some feedback. What do you like about this van? What might you be taking away for your own builds? Um, give us a shout. Today, we've got Juliet. Juliet is a medium wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter built by the lovely team at Van Life Builds. The underlying theme for Juliet is luxury, elegance, and ambience. And I have to say, they have absolutely smashed it. There are a lot of features in this van and it has everything you would expect from a camper van, but in a medium wheelbase. We will go into all those details and look at everything, but the one feature I will point out now, which you have to see, is the four post bed. Anyway, Let's go and look at the kitchen and get cracking with this thing. So first up, we've got the kitchen area. As I said before, this van, although smaller than most big camper vans, it has everything you may need or want. And this kitchen is no exception to that rule. It is small, it is functional, and it actually has two separate cooking spaces. First of all, we've got the live edge worktop that pops out. This is absolutely beautiful. This is all completely hand built. The live edge tops here are actually grown by Wayne since a young boy and he cut them down especially for this van. And what you can do here is pull this bad boy out and then you've actually got an external worktop which you can use as an extra workspace or you can fry some onions, whatever you want to do, but it creates that outdoor cooking space for those warmer days. And especially with the awning, it really, really works quite functionally well. There's also a bit of extra storage up here, which is a real nice touch. Um, and obviously you've got your light switches there. And next to that, we've got the, the stone sink and with the hot and cold tappage, very nicely inset there in the clay stone wall. Very Italian, very Renaissance. And then next to that, we've got the cedar top worktop, which removes from the induction hob. And that induction hob can be powered from the LED at the side. This unit has actually loads and loads of storage. So we've got extra storage under here, and we've got one here as well, in the way. Absolutely beautiful. There's extra storage here with these little shelving units. And then of course, you've got the Dometic CRX 50 fridge in black as well, which is very nice, very trendy, very cool. And above that, we've got a cupboard with a lovely hand-built little U-shaped curved shelf in there. You can put your stuff in there and it won't get that rattle around. Real nice touch. So the last thing in here, which is worth mentioning, is the Max Air Fan above. This is a great piece of kit, especially to have above your cooking area. You can have it to ventilate, to pull air out or to pull air in, whichever you want. It's a really, really great piece of kit. We recommend having a look at that. There is a link below. But anyway, that's enough for this beautiful functional kitchen. Let's have a little look at the cab area. Welcome to the cab. So the cab area is actually open through from the rear of the van. This is a lovely safety feature. If you are a lone traveler and you are away in the evening and if some sort of danger presents itself whilst you're in bed, you can run through, start the van and go without having to go outside. This is a nice touch to have. In the front itself, you've got twin cab seats because this is a two berth van. It's a little romantic one, isn't it? There's a lovely bit of carpet here. Maybe you can have a dog there. We've got some storage above for some cozy little nooks. And what uh, Van Life Birds have done is added some more storage above above the driver's side cab as well. And then obviously you've got your classic, your lights, your gear stick, your steering wheel. Don't really need to talk about that, so I'm not gonna bother. But the best feature about this van in the cab is the Remus blinds. Van Life Builds have them as a kind of standard and we absolutely love them. When we see them on a van, they're just beautiful. They sit flush as if they are factory built. I mean, you can't even see there's a blind here, but there is, trust me. You've got the front one like that. And then you've also got two on the side windows. You can pull up its sight and within 10 seconds, all closed, ready to go. But that's enough about the cab. Let's go and have a Bosch and shower. Bosch. This is a Nautilus self-cleaning shower door. Very nice piece of kit. 
is frosted so it lets light into this space and we are inside the shower slash wet room. First things first, let's have a look at this panelling. It's opulent, it's got that marble effect, uh, which adds to the kind of the whole theme, keeping on trend with what's going on with the van. I am sat currently on the Thetford Porta Potty Poop Lups, which actually slides away into this cozy little nook when you're not doing your thing. So it creates that extra space for showering. To my right is the full body mirror. This is a lovely touch, again, unexpected in a van this size, but they've squeezed it in. And if you like looking at yourself in the shower, well, there you go. Next up, we've got the gold brushed trigger shower. That is powered by the Truma boiler. The Truma heating system in this van is incredible. There's actually a vent down here on the left. So this can be used as a drying room as well. So you could hang up your wetsuits or whatever it may be and have that heating on to really dry those things off and not worry about where that excess water is going because it drips through into the bottom and into the 75 litre wastewater tank that is below the van. Above me is the miniature but mighty Max Air Dome fan. It's an extractor fan that you can open, turn on and it also has a light to provide that extra light in the space. That's enough about the shower room. I'm feeling funky fresh. I hope you are too. Next up, let's go and have a live in the living area. Bosch, here we are in the living area. Isn't this nice? So starting off with what I'm seated on, this is plum colored bonquette seating for two. You could, I think you could squeeze three in here quite easily, but it's a nice cozy spot, a bit snugly for those lovers out there. We've also got USB. So there's two on the left, two on the right. And we've also got an extra one. We've got them down below. They are fast charge. And there's also the 240 there for when you're on hookup. Above us, we've got the slatted ceiling. And again, we've got some more storage up here with the slatted effect all handcrafted. One of my favorite features of the whole van is this clay stone wall effect with the little compartment here for the bottle of plop. Bit of rouge there for the lovers. Excellent, excellent addition and something you just would never see on any van. The heating system in this van is powered by the Truma Combi D heating system. This thing is an absolute beast. It's essentially the heart of the van. And what they've done is they've funneled it off into different areas. So you've actually got one in the bedroom, one in the shower, one in the main area, and then you've also got one in the garage as well. What's really nice about this is it's got the iNet X panel. You can control the whole heating system in the van for the hot water and the hot air. You can put it on timers. You can set different temperatures in different parts. It's absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Go and have a look. There is a link below. So above me up here, we've got the electrical hub. Firstly at the top, we've got the, the tank indication monitor. So you can see how much water is in your fresh tank. Below that, we've got the Renergy battery monitor. This van itself houses two 170 amp hour lithium batteries. That is powered by 350 watt solar power. There's two panels above 175 each. That is more than enough power to keep this van off grid for a very, very long time. Below that, we have the Renergy solar monitor. So that gives you an insight into what's happening, how much power is coming into those batteries through the solar system. And then below that, we've got the inverter. We've got a 3000 watt inverter, which is housed below the seating area. So that's the electrical system in this van. If you are interested in any of the products and want to find out a bit more information, there are links below in the description, so get clicking. I think it's time for a little rumpy pumps. Let's go and check out that four poster bed. Welcome to the boudoir. How lovely is this? So this is the four poster bed. We've never seen this in the van before. Now having been in here, the, I have to say, this is so cozy. The words luxury, opulence, elegance, all those words we mentioned earlier, it, it really does fulfill those. What's really nice about this bed, although it is across the bed in a sprinter, which would usually mean you lose a bit on length, the pods have been added to either side. There's a large one on this side and a smaller one that side. So this bed can capacitate a six foot six person. I am five foot 10. And I'll tell you what, it's just, it's, yeah, it's lovely, it's great space. The drapes themselves create that extra kind of ambiance in here, but they can be removed if one wishes. But the lighting behind, it really does create a nice vibe to the plush is a word that I'd probably use for it. There's a small window down at your feet with the fishnet blind, so you can let a bit of air in, but no flies, very nice. So to the rear, we've got the two oval shaped windows with blacked out glass. 
so no one can see you when you're doing the old rumpy pumps and yeah that that is the four poster bed area it's beautiful we are we were blown away when we saw this we yeah we hope you are too what a nice feature fan life builds have absolutely killed it now this is a medium wheelbase fan and everything has been in compact isn't it it's quite small so you may think oh there's not that much storage but trust me there is let's go check it out look at all this space this is the garage area there is so much storage space in here this is absolutely massive as you can see it will fit a grown adult in here there is some lighting in here as well with the switch there very handy at night time we've also got 240 power there and a 12 volt as well if you've got some pump up paddle boards or kettle i don't know whatever you want you literally got an extra bit of power there to use and then also you've got an extra shower this one is also hot so you've got a hot shower on the rear of the van again it's got the gold brush tappage with the trigger either side of me are some extra storage pods so there's actually even more storage in here and above my head which you may not know about so if the the awning does fail on you or the electric does go on the van you can still get it in using this behind me are the two doors which open up uh, to the left you've got your two batteries you've got your 12 volt fuses and you've also got your uh, 240 fuses and you've also got the dc to dc energy charger there to the right we've got the 75 litre fresh water tank and you've got the water pump there as well the other feature about this garage space which is definitely worth mentioning is it actually works as, a, as your second drying room behind me in the center you have a vent for the heating system so you can pump heat into here as well and the finishing feature for this garage perhaps the van is this edged timber juliet engraved masterpiece which just shows off the brilliance of this van and also the builder lastly but not leasty let's go and have a look at look at the exterior of this van including the awning um show you the last little few pieces so outside the van we've got your side pods and below that we've got your tap for the brown water tank here we have the fill up point for your fresh water and we have your extraction for your heating system on this van we have the black rhino alloys and the chunky tires if these tires were a chocolate bar they'd probably be like a yorkie or something like that and of course we've got the classic vc livery we've got it in the plum color which ties in with the seating inside and we've also got the gray tree line finally we have the Thule omnister awning with the electric kit easily put out using the button in the cab very very nice addition to have to the van and if you want to register a van with dbla as a motorhome then this is something that you will need guys i've been ryan thank you for watching please like subscribe if you do like this content because we've got plenty more coming um, as we said earlier we will be picking three winners from the comments for website credit so please let us know give us some feedback on this van if you want to win a van like this then head to vanicampus.co.uk because we give them away every single month I love you. Good night.